Ahoj. Ahoj, this is Zdenka. At first I thought I'm gonna prank you a little bit. I'm gonna say I'm filming in the nature, but I don't think I can get away with those sounds. Where I am today, I'm in the Canadian um, motorsport racing track. So I'm gonna reveal it right now. And I got invited to an event, um, to Auto Slalom, but I'm gonna let my friend explain exactly what is going on here today. My task here is to take some photos and do some videos, maybe a little b-roll, maybe show some cars, just have a little fun. I'll take you on a journey, I'll take you what these guys are doing here, and hopefully I can create something nice here. We'll put some action cameras on the car too. away from them just a little bit quieter area so the equipment I was using today is just this Canon M6 Mark II I was using my telephoto lens most of the time and I was filming up close and that is 70 to 200 millimeters with ND filter variable ND filter and then I was also using my 50 millimeter lens nifty 50 velvet shock speed booster obviously my usual setup I was trying to get close-ups of those cars I'm finding that when you're trying to catch the car and follow the car the autofocus is great but you have to be really on top of the things you have to be very quick and the tripod you are using needs to be really smooth otherwise it's very easy to lose the track of the vehicle when i was filming video i chose to go with sun in my back so the cars were lit up very nicely for photography you have few options there you can shoot with the sun so the cars lit up very nicely or you can be from different angle but then you're gonna get a lot of bleached uh, sky so for me I know that it's usually better if I'm shooting with the sun I'm getting really nice shots that way and when it comes to photography when you are taking photos of fast moving movements like cars then obviously you want to have your shutter speed as fast as you can so for me i had it i think at 250 i might go even higher a little bit we'll see how the results are going to be i'm going to double check but you want to start at 200 for sure and go up as much as you can to get very fast movements you can catch them sharp the lens again for photography i chose was the telephoto lens 70 to 200 millimeters because simply i want to get very close to those cars and um, yeah very straightforward you just want to enjoy the event take some photos take some videos put it together and um, share cherish cherish the memories at first when i got here i thought that no women are allowed it's such a man's role but then i saw a few of them obviously kids are not allowed here today so it's just by myself with all of these guys and women and they're obviously having fun having a great time somebody was joking if i want to go on a racetrack with a van i don't think so So here we are, beautiful day in September, running an auto slalom in the lower paddock of Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And what is auto slalom? Well, it's a course that we make ourselves out of pylons, and this has been going on for decades, started back in the 70s. So this is being put on by the Oshawa Motorsport Club. They've been around since 1959, and auto slalom is their grassroots form of motorsport. 
drivers of all kinds of different cars are lining up for a small fee they get to run around all day see what their best time can be it's all being raced against the clock nobody's racing against each other but you are racing against each other if you're in the same class and at the end of the day it's the satisfaction that you went the fastest none of us are getting a formula one championship or a formula one drive from this we're just enjoying ourselves enjoying our cars and in the end, the benefit is becoming a better driver, becoming more aware of our surroundings, more aware of what's going on, knowing how our car will handle in an emergency situation. So it's better for us, better for our fellow drivers on the road. for me is I've grown up with cars cars were it for me cars were my Saturday night parties cars were the enjoyment the release the fulfillment I started racing when I was 16 I started drag racing I did drag racing for two years which is two cars against each other in a straight line I came up here to Mossport this very this very track when I was 18 years old fell in love with road racing Immediately got rid of my Mustang Dragster and got a Honda Civic road race car and went road racing and I've been doing it ever since. I like to say I've been broke ever since. When you get into racing, it is expensive, but it's worth it. It beats smoking. It beats drinking. Most of the stuff I was filming at 60 frames per second because I can slow it down in the post. Some of the stuff I must slow down. But also when I was talking and uh, if I wanted to see the interaction and also the sound I wanted to catch. So that's why pretty much everything today was filmed at 60 frames per second. Maybe not. The interview with Bruce was definitely filmed only in 24 frames per second because I knew there's no way I'm going to be slowing that down. If you are going to an event like this and you want to really get a variety of shots, a variety of different uh, footage, you know, videos and photos, then besides your kit lens, 15 to 45 millimeters, if you have it with uh, Canon M50, you want to bring other lenses as well. Uh, because you want to get a little bit more bokeh, you want to get a little bit more bigger reach. So telephoto lens, wide angle lens, perhaps even the 50 millimeter lens is great for get, getting really close up shots. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is a 2001 Yamaha R1 dwarf car. It's been hand-built over the years. It used to race professionally on dirt tracks, but we've customized it to run an auto solemn here uh, with Oshawa Motorsport Club. We run these events like six times a year. It's good for the community. We get people together, the car clubs, and it, it ultimately brings car people together and have a good time doing something safe and 
not breaking any rules, any laws, nothing like that. Uh, as far as the car, it's been stripped all the way down from what it was and completely rebuilt and put back together with a square frame and properly aligned. So instead of going sideways, it goes kind of straight now. So yeah, other than that, there's, there's nothing really fancy to it. It's a motorcycle engine in a car and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of adrenaline. Uh, it gets the blood flowing and it, it feels good after. It feels like you almost got something out of you. So it's very enjoyable to go out there and, and have fun and put your foot in it and hang on to the car. Would I do this? <laughs> no, are you kidding? <laughs> I like to look at it. I don't think I would go for it. Everybody would laugh at me. I'm seriously the slowest driver in the world. Even this morning when I was coming here, I thought that no vans are allowed on the road because I saw all these BMWs and all these cars uh, coming here and then goes me <laughs> with the shiny van. <laughs> in the morning when I showed up here, it was so cold. I had my jacket, now I had my sweater and now I'm just in a t-shirt. The weather is still all over the place. If you like today's video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to all future videos. Hopefully you get to see a little bit different footage with the lenses and with the cameras we are normally using in other videos. Maybe it was a little bit more entertaining for you to see this than just nature as I'm always filming. If you have any questions, comments, simply want to say hi, you know what to do, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao, away. Well, I better go check first if, <laughs> if the action camera is still there. We'll see what the footage is gonna bring. But um, yeah, we'll go get him. How was it? It was good. <laughs> good. Hopefully it was good enough. <laughs> Perfect.